Jean Baptiste Gabriel Joachim Dossett, the 19th of October 1916 to the 6th of June 2009, was a French immunologist born in Toulouse, France. Dossett received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1980 along with Baruj Benacerraf and George Davis Snell for their discovery and characterization of the genes making the major histocompatibility complex. Using the money from his Nobel Prize and a grant from the French television, Dossett founded the Human Polymorphism Study Centre in 1984, which was later renamed the Foundation Jean Dossett Cef in his honour. He married Rose Mayoral in 1963, with whom he had two children, Henri and Irene. Jean Dossett died on June 6, 2009 in Majorca, Spain, at the age of 92. Early life Jean-Baptiste Gabriel Joachim Dossett was born on 19 October 1916, in Toulouse, France. He was the youngest of four children of Henri Dossett and Elizabeth Dossett born Renard. His father was from the Pyrenees, and was a doctor by profession, and his mother was a housewife from Lorraine. Following the end of World War I the Dossett family moved to Biarritz where Jean spent most of his childhood. His father was head doctor at the Bayonne Hospital, a position that would make a great impression on Jean. Dossett was homeschooled by his mother, as well as by a tutor, who would periodically come to the house. At the age of 11, Dossett and his family moved to Paris. He began his formal schooling at the Lycée Michel, at age 15. After earning his baccalaureate in mathematics, Dossett was convinced by his father to study medicine at the University of Paris. Both of Dossett's parents died just after he became an extern at the Paris hospitals, at the age of 19. Dossett failed to pass an internship entrance exam at the Paris hospitals, and was preparing for a second attempt when World War II broke out. Topic. War Dossett was enlisted in the French army, and sent off to northern Italy for a year. Upon his return to Paris in 1940, Dossett studied ardently and passed his medical internship exam. Soon after passing his exams, Dossett joined the Free French Forces in North Africa as an ambulance worker. He was originally stationed in Morocco, but was later sent to the more active Tunisia. Dossett got his first taste of hematology when he had to perform numerous blood transfusions on wounded soldiers. As the war was winding down in 1944, Dossett returned to Paris where he worked in the Regional Blood Transfusion Center at the St. Antoine Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Medical reform After the war, Dossett worked as an intern at the Paris hospitals, which were in a state of disrepair and badly needed structural reform. Dossett formed a group of radical doctors who pushed for change in the French medical system. Due to his activist role in this group, Dossett was appointed as the advisor to the cabinet of the National Ministry of Education. The physician Robert Debray worked with Dossett, and pushed the government into forming a committee for the reform of medical education. Hospitals were joined with universities for the first time in France, and doctors were required to instruct classes to medical students. With the newly introduced system of university research hospitals, research began within the hospitals themselves, as opposed to in the universities alone, and full-time work for doctors was established Debray Reform of 11 and 30 December 1958. Topic. Career After World War II Dossett worked with Professor Marcel Bessis who had developed a new transfusion technique called exchange transfusion. He worked as an immunohematologist and was interested in anemic patients who required blood transfusions. He found that these patients lacked both red and white blood cells. In 1948, Dossett went to work as an intern in the Children's Hospital in Boston. He worked there in a hematology lab for about four years. He returned to France in 1952 and once again took up the position of an intern with Marcel Bessis. It was during this time that Dossett conducted his first official research. With Bessis, Dossett discovered the first antigen presenting leukocyte, but it was only officially described in 1958. Between the years 1952 and 1957 he collaborated with many researchers such as Gilbert Malinvod and Jacques and Monique Colombani. From 1952 to 1957, majority of Dossett's time went into developing techniques and developing further ways of confirming the presence of certain antibodies. 
He was made the head of research at Professor Georges Marchal's immunohematology laboratory in the Brousset Hospital. During this time, Dossett performed blood transfusions between a voluntary donor and patients in order to further his research in the field of immune responses in the body. He was testing the ability of the antigen presenting leukocytes in the recipient's body, which came originally from the donor's blood. In 1958, Dossett discovered an antibody called MAC which was a leukoagglutinate. The abbreviation MAC actually stands for the initials of the names of the donors whose blood Dossett and his colleagues had used during the research. From 1960 to 1965 Dossett worked primarily on improving organ transplantation techniques and the mechanisms involved in enhancing the body's ability to accept the new tissue. To do this, Dossett again used the blood of voluntary donors and patients to see what differences lay in the blood of the two individuals and how to minimize these differences. 1965 was a crucial year for research. There was an intense competition amongst the researchers of the immunohematology field as everyone was on the brink of making a major discovery in the genetic and transplantation research. During this time, Dossett worked with Paul Ivany in Prague and they used leukoagglutination and lymphocyte toxicity techniques to make some very significant discoveries. They discovered the HU1 antigen and the H2 antigen. In 1963 Jean Dossett became the head of the immunology at the Hôpital St. Louis in 1963. This is when he discovered the HLA system, with Felix Rappaport, by performing skin transplant experiments on volunteers and showed that success depended on histocompatibility. Dossett was the assistant director of the Research Institute in Blood Diseases until 1968, he then became the director of the Institut National de la Santé et de la Recherche Médicale. INSERM, Transplantation Immunogenetics Research Unit. Dossett founded France Transplant and France Greffe de Mole, which brings matching donor organs to recipients and provides bone marrow for transplant respectively. Research Dossett began his research shortly after obtaining his medical degree in 1945, while working as an intern in the hematology lab at the Children's Hospital in Boston. His first paper was published in 1950, and dealt with the detection of incomplete antibodies using trypsinized erythrocytes in a plasmatic medium, a technique that displayed improved sensitivity over other techniques used at the time. He went on to publish more works in the field of hematology, including developing a technique in 1952 for the removal of plasma from red blood cells to be used in transfusions to patients somehow intolerant of whole blood transfusions. In 1952 he returned to France and continued his research, particularly focusing on hemolytic anemia, and publishing several works dealing with various forms of blood cell agglutination. It was during this period of research, in 1954, when Dossett first observed an anti-leukocyte agglutinating substance, though it was not until 1958 that he identified an isantibody specific to leukocytes, and published his findings. It was this finding and the extensive cascade of work that followed that would ultimately earn Dossett his Nobel Prize. General research in antibodies, agglutination, and anemia continued in the years following this 1958 paper. In 1962, Dossett published an examination of the correlation between leukoagglutination and skin graft tolerance, his first observation of the antigen's impact on histocompatibility. His next paper on the subject was published in 1964, when he observed a clear relationship between leukocyte antigen compatibility and antibody response to skin grafts. This finding sparked a flurry of research in the topic of histocompatibility, and by the end of 1965 Dossett had published over a dozen papers exploring leukocyte antigens and their relevance to histocompatibility. After identifying that a two-allele leukocyte antigen group had an influence on histocompatibility and observing the induction of hypersensitivity to skin grafts following injection of leukocyte fractions, Dossett developed a system for grouping leukocyte antigens on the basis of histocompatibility. Following this, he put forth the hypothesis that all known leukocyte antigens were part of a single complex, a complex which he named HU1. This complex would later become known as one of the major histocompatibility complexes MHC, specifically those termed human leukocyte antigens HLA. Dossett's further work in 1965 examining the effects of HU1 antigen injection on skin graft rejection further confirmed the conclusion that this HU1 complex was indeed a transplantation antigen, a conclusion which would in time have profound effects on the transplantation process. 
In the years to come, Dossett continued his research on the Hu-1 complex. Through 1966–1967 he published several more papers on the subject, including a paper summarizing the relevance of HU-1 antigens to oncogenesis and transplantation, development of the use of a platelet complementation fixation test to identify which antigens are present, and the discovery that HU-1 is homologous to the mouse H2 complex, which also functions in histocompatibility. Toward the end of 1967 he confirmed through familial studies that all discovered antigens were in fact part of a single system. Following 1967, Dossett participated in numerous other studies pertaining to the complex which was renamed HLA in 1968, particularly those examining the genetic basis for the antigen's transmission, along with publishing a number of other papers for which he claimed primary authorship. For his contribution to these studies as well as his ultimate role in the discovery of this crucial antigen, Jean Dossett received the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1980. Following his reception of the Nobel Prize, Dossett's personal research slowed considerably. He contributed to multiple studies, particularly a number relating to genetics, but did not publish anything for which he claimed primary authorship for over a decade. He retired in 2003, at the age of 87. Topic. Nobel Prize In 1975, Dossett suspected that his name had been entered in the nominations for the Nobel Prize. However, nothing came of this until February 1980, when rumors were circulating in the scientific community about his possible candidacy. At this point, Dossett was planning on going to Quebec, Canada to do a conference series throughout the province. He was in a dilemma because if did win, he did not want to be away from his family and colleagues, and yet, were he to stay in France, people would suspect that he was sure of winning and he might set himself up for disappointment. So instead, he decided to stay in Paris, but to stay out of the public eye. He was unsurprisingly awarded the Nobel Prize 1980, which he shared with Baruj Benacerraf and George Davis Snell. Topic. Later life. In 1984 Dossett founded the Centre d'Etude du Polymorphisme Humain CEF, aiming to detect the major genes in humans that are responsible for diseases outside the HLA system. Localization of these genes was a crucial step in cloning and identifying them, this was a breakthrough for medical genetics. The CEF system contributed DNA from 61 large families to international centres that were responsible for mapping the human genome. Dossett and Professor L. L. Cavalli Sforza collaborated, and developed a DNA resource from world populations known as HGDP CEF Diversity Panel, to be used in human population genetics. CEF is a non profit organization that was partly funded by the French government. It was not until 1993 that CEF was renamed the Foundation Jean Dossett CEF. In 2003, at the age of 87, Dossett retired and became the president of CEF. Dossett was a member of the French Academy of Sciences. He was also a professor at the Collège de France. Dossett was one of the influential foreign members of the National Academy of Sciences, USA, and an honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He was a member of the Founding Council and Vice President of the Human Genome Organization. Dossett received various prestigious prizes, such as the Landsteiner Award and prizes for the Koch and Wolf Foundations. He also served on the advisory boards of numerous research institutions. References External links Jean Dossett, Daily Telegraph Obituary Carl Grandin, ed. 1980. Jean Dossett Biography. Les Prix Nobel. The Nobel Foundation. Retrieved 29 July 2008, CS1 maint, extra text, authors list, link. Death of Nobel Prize in Medicine, Jean Dossett. Le Monde, Paris, June 6, 2009. In French, CEF, official site of the CEF.